I created a mental health tracker in Notion that I hope will help other folks. I suffer from PMDD, which is horribly named premenstrual dysphoric disorder, which basically, if you don't know what that is, is premenstrual symptoms that have to do with your mood. So anything that affects your mood is technically PMDD. It was something that I was diagnosed with much later than I should have been. And now that I know I have it, I can manage it and I can also track it. So generally symptoms can start anywhere between seven to 10 to day, seven to 10 days before your cycle begins. So before you get your period. So for me, I know that days seven to 10 specifically before my cycle are very bad. And I tend to forget that the way I feel on those days do not carry on over to other days. So for example, yesterday was a very bad day. Today I feel much better and I'm excited to share this with you. So um, just to give you a high level overview, it's very simple. It has a uh, list health tracker at the top and then a calendar view at the bottom. There are a couple of pretty cool things in here based on formulas that I kind of hammered out and tried to figure out myself. So let's see, within each article or within each entry, you'll see a general capture. You don't have to fill this out, but then I have options for overall mood. So good, neutral, or bad. And I know it's not great to label your moods or yourself, but just as a quick glance to see how I'm doing, I have a whole host of moods to choose from, uh, color coded randomly because I felt like assigning colors to different moods might be a little bit too tedious or whatever. So this is how I'm feeling today. Countdown is based on the cycle. So I'm on day 21 of my cycle. I have seven days left until my period should begin. And current date, actually this should probably go up top. Symptoms, I don't have any today, but you can see some of the symptoms that are traditional PMS symptoms. And then status, this is the really exciting part, right? So this is where you go in and you have this cool formula. So if the property cycle, which is here, which tells you what day you're on, which you would manually enter. If it's between 18 and 20, those are bad days for me. These are days that just are not gonna be good and it may fluctuate from month to month, but it'll help just to have a bird's eye view of that as I go into various stages of my cycle and see them day to day. And um, if the cycle is between zero and five, I am probably on my period and then otherwise I'm good. So that is just my personal formula that I created that helps me determine what's going on. So in calendar view, this starts to be really cool because let me see how I close this guy. This starts to be really cool because I can see then if my formula is working correctly as I continue to add entries. So you can see this overview here is that yes, my bad calculation, my formula matched up to how I was feeling that day on day 20 of my period. Today I'm feeling much better and I'm like all is good. And I really love this number view version here. It's the 21 or 28 day cycle based on a loop. Um, so this number style is pretty cool. Oops. Let's see. You go to edit property and go to ring, which must be new. And I have a color divide by 28 because that is how many days my cycle is and I asked it to show the number just to help me with this. So this is again something that you have to do manually but it's pretty cool. So if I were looking at this tomorrow I would say hopefully very good. Let me move my face. Overall hopefully I'm like okay at least let's say that I'm cheerful and creative and lighthearted tomorrow. Uh, cycle would be 22 and symptoms, maybe I will have poor sleep, but we'll see what happens. And then that is what it will look like tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this entry since it's not, does not exist yet. And that is that. I hope this tracker is something that you can set up for yourself or if you want the, um, the template, let me know. That's it, have a good one.